Wiring the battery bank is probably the most confusing thing about this whole part for me. And getting it right is really important. What I found out was when I had originally wired my solar panel system battery bank, I had wired it differently and I found that this battery and this battery were fully charged and these batteries inside were not getting charged from the trickle charger or the solar panels. Even though they were all connected, the power didn't seem to be flowing from the batteries evenly. It was up here and down here, but not getting to the center. So without showing you how to do it wrong, I'm gonna show you how I did it correctly, and hopefully this will help you understand how to build your battery bank. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to ignore these two battery banks here. These two battery banks are the same as this battery bank. This is a six volt battery, as well as this, this, and this. We have them connected from negative to positive, which makes this a 24 volt battery bank. What we want to keep in mind is that the positive comes in the one battery, let's just call it the top battery, and the negative comes in the bottom battery. And that way, the ions flow evenly and completely through all four of these batteries. In this example, the ions come in here and they flow evenly through all the batteries and they come out here. Now, if we didn't have these two battery banks here, this connection would, would be right here. Battery number one has the, the positive power coming in. Battery number four, or the bottom battery, has the negative power coming in, if we can use that terminology, and going out to the inverter. If you want to add additional storage to your battery bank, you simply duplicate your existing bank with another bank, which I've done here. So we have the positive coming in the first battery, the top battery. We have the same thing here. And then we have the power coming in the bottom battery, just like we have here. And since I wanted to have 12 batteries, I have three battery banks. So simply put, we have the positive coming in the top batteries and the negative coming in the bottom batteries. And then from the top battery, then this is the end of the row for the top batteries right here. And then this is the end of the row for the bottom batteries. So we take from the end of the positive and run that to the inverter. And we take the end of the negative and run it to the inverter. That way all the electrons are flowing through the entire battery bank evenly so all the batteries get charged. I've had these batteries set up this way for several months now, quite a long time, and every time I go check these batteries, they are all completely equally filled. Even when I've been using them to power the house, whether I've been charging them with the solar panels or charging them with the trickle charger, they all charge up properly and evenly. So just remember, positive in one end, negative in on the other, and they come out. Okay, and if you've got multiple banks, then it's the battery on the positive end that's at the end of the chain that comes out, and the battery on the negative side that's the, at the end of the chain that comes out. Hopefully that helps you understand how to wire a battery bank. Now, here I've got 24 volt battery banks. And let's say, for example, you wanted to use golf car batteries, but you didn't want a 24 volt battery bank, you wanted a 12 volt battery bank. Well, you would do the same thing here. You'd have the power coming in to this battery and going to this battery, and that would be one battery block there. And then you'd have another block coming over here to another a six volt battery and a six volt battery. And then you'd have the negative power coming into here these two would be connected, and you'd have the negative power going out there. If you want to add more batteries, you just add another t a couple set of batteries and just continue that chain on from the positive going to the end of that chain and the negative coming in here, connecting across, and then coming out. Just remember, keep the chain going where the, the positive comes in on the top. Wherever the positive ends at the top row, you take it to the inverter. Wherever the negative comes in on the bottom row and ends, you take it to the inverter. 
Sometimes after explaining wiring, I'm more confused than when I began. If that's the case with you, I know exactly how you feel because that's how I felt for a long time. Simply replay this video or comment below, ask a question, send me a personal message. I'll be glad to reply and help you. If you have a diagram and you want to uh, send it to me, send it to ldsprepper at gmail.com and I'll be glad to review that wiring diagram for you. Of course, I'm not an electrician. I don't guarantee anything. You know, you take my advice at your own risk. But the concept is positive power in on one side, negative power in on the other side. Go to the end of the chain and go to the inverter. I hope that's helpful. If you're looking for more information on the inverters or the other components of this system, please watch my other videos or view the links below this video for more information. To make things easier, I will also have a link to this particular diagram below this video in the description box that I'll just have posted on PhotoBucket that you can uh, view and print out if you'd like. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if ye are prepared, ye shall not fear.